So I get professional people, often in their 30s and 40s, coming to me because they discover that in my practice I work with, with cannabis. And generally they tell me that that's why they connected with me, that whatever I do with it, it may be the ticket to feeling better about themselves and, and their station in life. And more often than not, they want to return to a time in their life when they felt better, without the anxiety, the sadness, the depression, the despair, whatever is coming up for them. But that's not possible. It's not possible to go back. You know why? The brilliant Swiss psychoanalyst Carl Jung, he died in 1961 at age 85, had much to say about this. Jung was a visionary in informing Western psychology with Eastern mystical teachings. He explored the unconscious and concepts of the movement of psychic energy. He left us with a huge body of work laced with extraordinary insights. He famously said, quote, the first half of life is devoted to forming a healthy ego. The second half is going inward and letting go of it. He makes the same point in this quote. After the age of 30, all psychological problems are spiritual in nature. After the age of 30, all psychological problems are spiritual in nature. In other words, for most people in their 20s, and I know I did this, they can stay busy and distracted and hide their shadow side from themselves. But at a certain age, it all begins to start falling apart and we may move into what's called the dark night of the soul. We can't hide from our shadow side anymore. It pokes, it pushes, it presses. And once that begins to happen, we get one of two choices. We either continue to wallow in our emotional pain and maybe numb it with things like alcohol and drugs or prescription meds. Or the other choice is, as Jung says, go inward and let go of it. And the portal to going inward so that we can let go of these roiling emotions is through meditation. Now, this is where my work embraces cannabis. The plant is an elegant spiritual tool to help you go inward. In my experience, cannabis is at its best in this role as a psychic companion to enhance and amplify the journey of going inward. I pair it with ancient breathwork and active practices to stir up the psychic energy that Jung talks about in order to move out whatever is underpinning the emotional pain. So what I say to those who come to me looking for a way to get out of their pain, their dark night of the soul, is yes, of course, it's entirely possible, but it's not just about taking cannabis. It's about the artful application of the plant with a method that is meant to navigate through the dark night of the soul to the other side, where the light, the freedom, the full embrace of our loving soul resides. Are you with me? Hit reply and let me know your experience with the dark night of the soul. Maybe you know, you're in the midst of it. Maybe you're on the other side of it. Maybe you're just wondering about it. Let me know. I'm Becca Williams, and I want you to lead your most magnificent life, and I want to help you do that.